This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Hey guys, it is the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as... The Big Week That is right, I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Right across the street from where we had Lucha Fiesta Pittsburgh. So, Mike, I am all lucha up for this week. Sorg, I have a very important question for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Were there free tacos? Uh, there were not free tacos, but there was tacos and beer and lucha. Was it Modelo? It, there was Modelo. Uh, Chris Chris LaRusso was sitting right here uh, on the couch watching Hell in a Cell with us and said, you know what? I like Modelo now. Okay. <laughs> so Wow. So Hell in a Cell drove Chris LaRusso to drink. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it was the good day at the show and the good good <laughs> the fiesta that happened. I love it. And, and, and you know, from I, I know uh, Ray Lynn was here and she was saying that this is like this is what they do in California with these kinds of shows, and, except it's cooler here. <laughs> you know, at a I nice imagine, at yeah. a nice eighty degrees. So yeah, a, n- a nice brisk breeze. Yeah, exactly. A little bit, but man, the, the weather was great, and and it was the perfect vibe for me to go sit down and watch Lucha Underground. Now, before I get to that, I want to talk about something real quick. I went okay. to it, and and I shared with you the, uh, uh, on on the stream that that I had again. This episode is already up. I started watching. It. I'm like, whoa! I haven't seen any of this stuff, right? Um. So I, I, I actually, you know, I, I kind of tweeted, I figured like if I kind of tweeted like Lucha Underground or something to let them know, because I'm sure they're probably not too happy about it. Um, mm-hmm. So, but Comcast Cares tweeted me back and said, hey, the episode is up now. Uh, so and we also have these, this and this episodes and some stuff from last season. So they fixed it, of course, after I bought it on iTunes and watched it. But thankfully, I love it supporting these guys at lucha underground so i don't mind dropping the three bucks on an episode if, if i have to, to to sit down and watch it right yeah i don't blame it it's, it's a, yeah it's a good bang for your buck yeah i, I feel i feel fine about that yeah uh, even even if even if you just look at it, you're paying a dollar per match mm-hmm. okay yeah that's fine mm-hmm. yeah i'm good with that i'm definitely good with that um so uh so that was interesting uh, so yeah, a very lucha, lucha kind of weekend, and and I'm just feeling really good about wrestling right now. Okay, at least Mexican wrestling. <laughs> yes, at least Mexican wrestling. Um, yes. again, we saw, oh, I, I mentioned um because it, it applies here. Uh, Caristico and Ultimo Dragon. Caristico, of course, the original Sin Cara in Mystico previously. Um, it was really cool there. Um, um, Ultima Dragon was amazing. Uh, Sam Adonis. Now, I haven't seen Sam Adonis as the the uh, Donald Trump flag waving Sam Adonis that he does in Mexico. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. Shocker was a part of it. I know. I now know what 100% Guapo means. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. So yeah. So um, so no, it was a lot of fun. It was absolutely a lot of fun. So, but let's Excellent. get into Lucha Underground, sir. What? Let us do just that, Sorg. And we're going to we're going to get into it like we always get into it every week. Sorg, qual es tu palabra para Lucha Underground? Oh, my me my word for the week is moody. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. We'll get into that. Um my my word for the week and, and I apologize if I blow up people's eardrums. Gene! There you go. And a correction, producer Missy's hanging out here in studio. Lets me know it's one thousand percent guapo. I mean, re- realistically, if you if you just break that down, it's still the same fraction. Um. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, roughly. Roughly. <laughs> yeah, roughly. Okay. So anyway, uh, so Sorg. Yes. Uh. Well, it's too bueno para Lucha Underground. Um, my bueno was the, uh, I, okay. All right. Okay. I love that the, I don't know what we call this new team, uh, this new trios team. Oh, we need But to, it's yeah. like, yeah. it's like an entire, like, Venn diagram of sexuality. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Between Eva Lee's Yeah, actually. Ex Delicious um, and Joey Ryan, right? Because Joey Ryan is the super macho. Eva Lee's is the super feminine. And then we mm-hmm. have Ex Delicious kind of in the middle of the Venn diagram. Um, you, you, it, it's, a, it's awesome. It, it's, it's really awesome. Yes. All right. We, we, need, we need a name for them, Sorg. Um. Um, well, this is tough. Jeez, I want to. I'm going with delicious thing, and I'm going to. We could call them Wrestlelicious. <laughs> <laughs> they got a theme song and everything. <laughs> Wrestlelicious, baby. Go, go, Google Wrestlelicious. Um, uh, we're not going to explain it again. I, I'm going to. I'm going to call them Sleazevelicious. Sleazevelicious. Okay. Because you got sleazy Joey Ryan. Eva Lee's and X Delicious. Well, they got the snakes tomorrow. Our, our next <laughs> Alex Carr says we can call them sexual Venn diagram. Okay. Or, or SVD. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. What about you? Oh, man. But yeah, that they're going to be great. Mm-hmm. I really I hope they win the, the trio titles immediately. And it's going to be weird watching Joey Ryan and X Delicious and, e- and Evie, for that matter, all handle people referred to as the reptile tribe mm-hmm. yep. oh, they're gonna get a handle on those snakes it's two guys a girl in a mayhem place <laughs> okay yeah. moving on moving on two guys, two guys a girl in a lucha place all right um uh, me bueno this week uh the rise of dark phoenix mm-hmm. that's that's why my word was gene because if anyone watched the old animated 90s x-men you knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> and it's and yeah. it's um and, you know, the episode was called Pet Cemetery. Uh-huh. Was, we had a bird that was re, re- resurrected, right? Yes, so we did. I <laughs> kind of it's fun. I like this. I, I didn't pick up on that until you just reminded me that it was called Pet Cemetery. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wait, what was Oh right. You brought back right. the thing you loved and now it's gonna eat your face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen Pet Cemetery, but I know the concept. It's it's a very simple concept. Mm. <laughs> Things you bring something back to the dead, it doesn't always go the way you see it. You think this it is this is a thousand percent. I mean, of. I've seen. <laughs> that's wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, a thousand percent verdad. Verdad. Okay. That's that's true. That's okay. True. Yeah, I think guapo means handsome. I know it does. Okay. I, I I took a lot of Spanish, Sork. <laughs> to quote the movie, sometimes dead is better. Ooh, I bet I bet Phoenix says that at some point too. Yes, and to quote another fine uh, uh, band that I've had conversations with: uh, "One man's trash is another man's treasure." <laughs> wow, wow, really? Yeah, why not? That, 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 okay, okay. Uh, God. <laughs> Uh, Moving on. They don't even know how magnets work. Uh, sorry. No, it wasn't that one. Oh, okay. All right. I I didn't know. Who they, you were although from. they like bare knuckle boxing. I just, God. All right. Uh, Sorg. Not every show is perfect. We all know this. Not even Lucha Underground. So Sorg, qualis to Malo part of Lucha Underground this week. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's just we're still in Spanish soap opera mode, but. <laughs> Like the 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 Melissa Santos acting this week was especially soap opera y. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I mean I I think this I think this week's was definitely like a cool down mm-hmm. from last week's episode. Oh yeah. Because la- last week we got a lot of story and this week just kind of fell a little like, you know, there was still stuff happening. Mm-hmm. But it was just like, okay, we need to, we need to take it down. We need to simmer down a little bit. We got to simmer down. No, no sacrifice to God. Another episode without a murder sword. Without? Without. What? There was no murder this week. That's uh, wow. Other than well, the referee almost bit it. That's uh, true. True. The referee almost did. But yeah, another 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 week without a murder. So mm. you know. I think they're what twelve for fourteen, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. They, they, 
They're they're bad in over five hundred. We'll put no, it that no, way. No, no, uh, no. Um, uh, meanwhile, this week I think it's El Dragon Azteca. Like I, I, I hate to say it because I really like him as a wrestler, but mm-hmm. there is nothing there. You're just nothing not. You're there not there. following it. You're not getting it. You're not really caring for it. They have not given me a real reason to because like. Mm. The people he was attached to are gone from Lucha. Mm-hmm. Ray and Puma, they're both gone. Yeah, it's I mean, not it's not his fault. No, it's not even Lucha's fault. No, it's just if you're going to make him a main focus, reattach him to someone new. Right, like someone that has someone that can carry the story aspect. Right. Like honestly, famous B. Famous yeah. B. Yeah. I think you I, I think mean, Famous B is like a collector of uh, Famous B is like a collector of of broken toys of Lucha Underground, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. It's also been a little bit we we we've, we've had no Rabbit Tribe for a few weeks, but Marty the Moth came back. Well, there, there's only one member of the Rabbit Tribe left, so the, Oh, yeah, right. Remember, 12 out of 15, 12 out of 14. <laughs> a lot of death. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of death. Uh, that's budget cuts. I no, no. It's, that's the gods are hungry, sword. Ah, <laughs> the gods, the gods must feast. Uh, all right. If you had um, a combio this week, what, what would your combio be? A combio. Um, I do 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 do. I don't know. You know, I. Not a change. This is maybe maybe be. Mo- I have a conflict. Okay. I feel like Aerostar should have known what he was getting into. Correct. Right. Yes. Or he should have seen this coming. Maybe he did. Sorg. Maybe maybe this is the end game. All part of the plan. Oh, it's all part of the plan. Like, you have to go... Like, it could also be, like, okay, someone just needs to hit Phoenix really fucking hard in the head, and he'll be fine. hmm Like, it could be as simple as that. Like, I'm, I'm bringing up two different Avengers movies while I'm talking about this, but yeah, it could be as simple as, oh, no, you have to fight your friend and really whack him in the side of the head really hard, and he'll be okay then. <laughs> yeah, that could be. That could be. Um, either way, I don't think it's uh, going to work out well for Melissa Santos. Mm, I, I, yeah, I could see that not being pleasant. Mm-hmm. And that's that's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Um, let's see. If I had a combio this week, I I like Cuerno and and Mill mm-hmm. like going after each other, but. Anytime you see a no contest in Lucha Underground, I just get a little upset. Kind of like a co- no contest in Hell in a Cell. Yeah, I mean, that that would never happen, though, Sword. No, no, no. Why would you do it in no, the most violent it, place ever? Exactly. Like, yeah. So that, that bugged me a little bit. but And they don't do that often. They mm. really don't. Even Stryker noted it in the commentary. But when it does, it's just kind of a bummer. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of a bummer. And granted, we're going to get a triple threat match next week, and that's going to spit hot fire. But but it's not next week yet, and I don't have Comcast. So I can't wait until – I have to wait until Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going to watch it tomorrow morning just to piss you off. Hey, Sorg, Sorg, hmm. you have a little something right there. Oh, right, oh, right, oh well, excuse me. Right That's why I have your, behind this microphone. Okay. Right by your nose, yeah. All by right. the way, for, for, the, for the audio people, I'm flipping Sorg off. Yeah, yeah. Like like in, in the classy way where you're itching your nose. Yeah. I, and I did look up Pet Cemetery on my just watch, see if I could watch it. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, man. But, yeah, I, I mean, other than that, Lucha was fine. It was definitely a cool down show. Which we need occasionally, mm-hmm. I guess. I like it when Lucha just builds and builds and builds and builds, but it can't always do that, and I know it can't. Mm-hmm. Um, but Sorg, we did get a post, 
a post credit scene. We did. We Yay! did. Yay! Someone's arm is better. <laughs> Someone's arm is better, and that's Marty the Moth. Now, okay, um, secondary combio. Secondary combio, Sorg, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. I would have had Marty wear the same exact outfit Mariposa wore to get her that <laughs> It kind of like doing the... I would have had him the... wear the same exact outfit mm -hmm. because gender is fluid. Also, the character of Marty is kind of an idiot, so he thought maybe that would help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But um, please, can can we please make Marty gift to the gods? Please, can we do this? I I think you you can't have Azteca make it all the way. No, but no. oh oh Marty would be so good. Marty would be so good as gift of the gods. Mm -hmm. I really I I want him to try and like fit that into his lunchbox. I I just need to see it. Oh, I, I really, I really want Marty to win. <laughs> uh, I well, really do. Speak. Another episode, or if you're on Comcast, you can watch it right now, apparently. And uh, this has been Mayhem Underground. And if you like Lucha, look out for Lucha Fiesta, uh, Pittsburgh. It's going to be on Fight.TV and other outlets afterwards, but that's going to be debuting, I believe, Thursday night on Fight.TV. You can check out what happened here right across the street, filmed by yours, well, like it was on Switch and editing and stuff, but uh, from our friends here at IndieWrestling.us. It was a good time. It was a good time. It was good to kind of, um, you know, having having experienced Lucha Underground in person um, and and this, you know, it's really cool to see, like, the 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 fight party culture, you know, kind of happen uh, with with it. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me. Uh, I, I wish I could have gone, mm -hmm. but it sounded like it was a fun show, and Alex is freaking out that it's on fight. <laughs> yep so we'll see what happens there alrighty uh, so Sorg was there anything else you want to talk about nope everything I got sir nice Alrighty. well packaged lucha yes yes indeed and uh alright so where can the people find you on the internet Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter SorgatronMedia.com for all the fine fine podcasts all right, and you can find me at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show, where I live tweet Lucha Underground every Wednesday night, sometime before I go to sleep. Uh, look for the hashtag MM. That's right. And yes. until next time, stay tuned, follow us, subscribe on the Wrestling Mayhem Show super feed, or check out the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page so you know when we get live with the Mayhem Underground, formerly known as The Midweek Club. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.